Hello everyone. I am here with my wife and we decided to make a video together. I guess with me on camera and with her off of camera for now. And I guess the topic is going to be about doing well for your enemies. Like you have an enemy and you are doing good things for your enemy, even though that person may have done you wrong. Like for instance, myself, and probably after I speak about myself, my wife may explain to you all about what happened to her. I believe there was a person, I guess years ago, that person had a problem with me or may have been jealous about something. And there was a time when I was in need and some people maybe one or more people asked that person to help me and that person helped me but that person had like a very bad attitude toward me like as if i was his enemy or something like that and That person was pretty much not so physically rough with me, but verbally rough with me. And some other things happened as well, which I am not going to speak about, but like I had a horrible time with that person. Maybe a time after that, something happened and that person called me. That person was like really, really sick to where that person called me and asked me to buy them like soup and I think something else. And I came to that person's apartment and that person was really in bad shape to where he asked me to heat up the soup for him. So, so imagine, imagine a person that was verbally, somewhat verbally, somewhat verbally rough but like their treatment of you was not so good asking you so that was the past but now they are asking you to buy them some soup and heat it up for them but i know about the law you reap whatever you sow so I know if I wasn't willing to help that person, something may happen to me to where I may be harmed. So I helped that person and maybe one or two months after that, that individual called me and apologized, telling me that you know, why that person treated me in such a way in the past. And not only apologized one time, but maybe like caught me on three or four occasions apologizing to me. Now, when that person comes around me, Maybe they did that before, but maybe not so much. But now when that person comes around me, that person speaks about God, 
And even though they may not be doing things right, which I don't think we all are doing everything right, you know, that person speaks about God and as it seems, not a relationship, but the way that person acts toward me now is so much different. I would say, not saying that person is my friend, but I probably can say that person is receptive toward me. To where I can speak about God to that person and he will listen. So Bentu, can you speak about a situation to where you know, you had to help your enemy or, or like things changed or whatever else like that? Yeah. All right. Go I, ahead. Back in my past, you know, I, I was in trouble too back then. And then, um, people treated me wrong and said all type of stuff call me names and you know curse put curse on me and and just horrible things they were saying concerning me so what do you, you know, mean by for, put curse on you or what do you mean by that like saying that you not you are going to be worthless you will soon die you will not be anybody you know just saying horrible things bad things to make me feel bad but then um, at the end of the day, some of those people who said wrong things to me, I still help them. You know, I still, I act like there's nothing really between us or I, I like, I don't even know what they did. Because for one, if you are a Christian, you have to help your enemies. You have to pray for them. And that is so true. Yeah, so I do not, it's not that I have forgotten about what they said, but, you know, I can't keep it in my heart for them. So I still help them out if I'm able to. I still do what I can do. And have any of those enemies, like, changed the way they act towards you? Have you seen any improvements or what? Well, the way I see it, even if your enemies don't change, my answer is some of them yes and some no. But um, even if your enemies don't change towards you, still, you have to still treat them right. Mm, you that's have true. to still treat them right. You know, you don't have to see changes in people before you treat them right. As Christians, we have to treat everybody right whether your enemies or not whether that's that person is sorry or that person apologize or not we still have to love them pray for them and treat them right and i want to add as well you know sometimes when i help my enemies yes yeah, sometimes they may change toward me but there are some times as well to where they won't. But the main thing I am trying to bring over to you, I believe we all are going to reap whatever we sow. If we go to the book of Romans, is it Romans? I don't know. Something to, to do with um, helping your enemies, even though they may mean you no good. So if it is true, we are going to reap whatever we sow, it is to your benefit in helping your enemies. We, we had a person to where, you know, someone was threatening my wife. And, um, now that person is in jail even though that person meant us or her harm 
I help that person, or should I say we help that person? Yeah. Just because someone is your enemy doesn't mean you should not help that person. I think it shows your character if you are able, I believe it shows maturity, spiritual maturity, if you are able to help your enemies when they have done you wrong. I think some people have told me that they can never help their enemies and I can understand that but you know the thing I tell my wife I believe certain things that come to us happens yeah. for a purpose yeah there may be things within us that need to be purged out so that enemy may teach us patience by them acting very badly and you may say what do i mean by that okay i believe you have to exercise patience with difficult people yeah so learn to do well for your enemies learn to yeah. do well for <laughs> let me add this too for people in need too not saying mm -hmm. you have to give out all your money but look out for more than just yourself because i can tell you this um if you are trying to live for jesus christ you are going to have opposition and yeah. I believe you are going to be tested too. So let us stop here. Please help your enemies. Don't wish any harm upon them. Don't, if you know they are a witch, don't, what do they do? Um, reverse curses. No. If they curse us, we have to bless them yeah no returning curses or anything like that so let us stop here god bless you